Create a new project. Select the light and camera and hide it for the time being. Now select the cube, press tab to go into edit mode, and press 1 on numpad to go in front view. Now go into x-ray mode, select bottom vertices, and press G to decrease the size. Press Shift A to add a new cube. Select that cube and press S and then Shift Z to scale on two sides without scaling on the Z axis. Now with the help of G, move the leg of the chair to one of the corners of the chair. After pressing G press X, Y, or Z for precision moving. Select that leg and press Shift D to duplicate it. And press X or Y to move precisely. Now duplicate the rest of the legs and place them like before. Select the object that you want and hide it by pressing H for a clear view. Press Alt H to unhide the object. Now it's time to make the backrest. Select two legs and press Tab to go into edit mode. Press number two to go into edge select and select only the top edges of both the legs. Keep shift pressed and select the edges one by one. Press E to extrude the edges to a sufficient height. Press G and then X to give an angle to the backrest. Now add a new cube and scale it down to give it the shape of the headrest. Now move it by pressing G and adjust the scale by pressing S. Now select the headrest and press to go into edit mode. And then press Ctrl R to place loop cuts. To place multiple loop cuts move your scroll on your mouse. Now press G to go into vertex select by pressing 1 and select top 2 vertices and press G and Z to move them and give it a shape. Press Shift A to add a new cube. Now by scaling moving and duplicating, we will design the backrest. Press R, to rotate an object. Now duplicate that object by pressing Shift D, and place it any way you want to create the design. Make sure to save the file. Now it's time for texturing. For texturing you will note an add-on called Node Wrangler. To enable Node Wrangler, go to Edit and then Preferences, and then go to Add-ons and in the search box type Node and Enable by clicking the checkbox. Now go into the Shading tab. And select an object. You will see some nodes. Now to apply realistic texture. You first have to download a wood texture from a free website like Texture Heaven. After you've downloaded the texture, click on the principled BSDF node of the selected object that is present. Click on that node, now press Ctrl Shift T, now go to the location where your downloaded texture is located. Select all the textures, make sure you uncheck the relative path checkbox and click on principled texture setup. Your texture will be automatically applied. Now click on any other object of the chair and click on the drop down button next to new button. And click on the existing texture in the list. That texture will be automatically applied to the selected object. Repeat this step for every object. Just copy the texture to every object of the chair.
Now select an object, go into edit mode by pressing tab, and press Ctrl R to place loop cuts in the object. Use scroll bar to increase the number of loop cuts. Now to add more design we will add more loop cuts on left and right side of the existing loop cuts. To select all the middle loop cuts simultaneously, press, shift alt, and click on the loop cuts. Now press S, and Z, to scale the selected loop cuts along Z axis to make an effect of wood planks. Now select the entire chair and press H to hide it. Now it's time to make the floor. Press shift A to add a new plane. Press S to scale it bigger. Now unhide the chair by pressing Alt H. Now select the plane. Go into edit mode by pressing tab, and select the two edges to the back of the chair. Now press E, and then Z, to extrude those sides upwards on the Z axis. Press Shift A. To add a light, if you don't have already, adjust the angle by rotating it, and you can also increase or decrease the strength of the light from Properties tab. Now to add a color to the floor, select the floor. Press on Materials button, press New button, and change the base color. Now it's time to set our camera frame. To do that, select the camera from list located in top right part of the screen. And press Ctrl Alt and 0 from numpad. It will automatically get adjusted to the existing view frame. You can adjust the frame by pressing N. Check the camera to view checkbox so that it will move with your mouse. You can adjust other settings from properties tab. Now it's time to set the render settings. Go to the render tab on the right side, select render engine as cycles, and change the device to GPU compute. Under sampling option change the render value to 400 to 500 for high resolution render. You can turn on the denoising and also reduce the light bounces lower than 12 to reduce render time. Now it's time to render. Press the render option located on the top and select render image option. It will start rendering. It will take some time to complete. After rendering is complete, it's time to save it. Click on image button, and click on save as.